Germination is important to all organisms. It is the growth of a seed into a seedling or growth of embryo out of a tester. There are two types of germination, hypogeal and epigeal germination. In hypogeal germination, the cotyledon stays below the ground, as is seen with monocotyledonous plant, example corn. In epigeal germination, here the cotyledons come above the ground. It is seen in dicotyledonous plant, example our peas and beans. Germination requires water, suitable temperature, and oxygen. Water is used for hydrolysis and to activate enzymes. Suitable temperature ensures optimum enzyme activity while oxygen is needed for aerobic respiration. In the experiment, we will examine the conditions needed for germination. To carry out the experiment, we will need to sterilize all the apparatus being used so as to ensure there is no foreign organism. We will need boiling tubes, seeds, cotton, rubber bung, black paper, ice pack, or refrigerator tape to label and we're going to need pyrogallic acid and sodium hydroxide let's look at the experiment germination should not be mistaken for growth the growth of a plant will require sunlight the growth or germination of a seedling does not require sunlight germination could take place above ground below the ground in the sun or in the absence of sun germination does not require light so in the process we are observing here that boiling tube a has water cotton seed and it is in a bright warm place we have seen germination and, of course, growth of the seedling. Test tube B is in a ice pack or could be placed in a refrigerator. It has wet cotton, seeds, ice, cotton, and, of course, it's in a dark condition. Test tube C has wet cotton, seeds, and it, too, is in a dark condition. Test tube D contains pyrogallic acid and sodium hydroxide in a bright warm condition it is important to note that the cotton in this boiling tube is also wet important to note however pyrogallic acid and sodium hydroxide is used in this experiment to remove oxygen from this environment test tube e is used as a control the cotton is dry a control is that part of the experiment that is used to verify the result the outcome with the control is normally known hence it forms a suitable gauge to the experiment i hope that you did look at the experiment but if you'd miss out on the experiment we will go through the experiment again so this is what the setup looked like and here we go into the experiment to see what actually happened. There we have germination. Roots growing below the soil or below the cotton. Then we have sprouting of the shoot. It's growing there, showing some amount of growth. Shoot is growing and the root is growing below the cotton there. Uh, but you are unable to see it. Now... We are now supposed to determine what happened in the container B and C. Let's remove the cartridge. Wow! Look at that. The container with the ice did not show any sign of germination. And this is because the temperature was not suitable for germination. It was too low and would not allow the enzymes to operate. We however observe that in boiling tube A, germination took place as the condition was favorable. It had water suitable temperature and of course oxygen. In test tube C, 
it had no light however that did not stop the process of germination as it had water suitable temperature and of course oxygen in test tube d no germination took place as there was no oxygen present in the tube so as to enable respiration in test tube E, as is expected, there is no germination because there was no water there to activate the enzyme or for hydrolysis. Here we have the experiment completed. We are supposed to now complete our observation by filling out a table. So we know A germinated. We know C germinated. I do hope you were watching the video if you did not see the conditions and what germinated please go through the video again pay attention to what is written below the tubes and that will help with your observation and of course discussion so here we have the table partially completed you're supposed to look at your experiment and complete the table so for those part that the condition was present you're going to put a tick and the parts where it was absent of course you you're going to put a x the conclusion for this lab is that water suitable temperature and of course oxygen is needed for the process of photosynthesis thanks much for watching please be reminded to like share and subscribe and when you do remember to hit that notification bell so you'll be informed as soon as there is a new post available